Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, AKA Hooked by Brianna. And today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we have part two to my fall slash winter crochet pattern inspiration video. This is the Crochet Prime. So we really gotta go hard this season. I have included 20 sweater and accessory patterns rather than adding pants and dresses because I think I covered most of those that I could find at least. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with anybody you think may need some crochet inspiration this cozy season. So this is my um, crochet hoodie pattern, but I use some velvet yarn and I am obsessed. I think it works really well for the colder seasons because yeah, the other one is warm, but this one is so soft and warmer. I wish y'all could touch it, but yeah. And then also, if y'all aren't a crocheter, I made one of these cat hats. It was so cute. I'll comment down below, I mean, I'll put in my description box the um, pattern that I used for this, but it is so adorable. I really have to put my hair up for me to put it on, but I am also adding it to my shop if you aren't a crochet artist. So yeah, that should be there. Oops, by the time this video is up. Okay, let's go ahead and get back into the video pullover graphic sweater 20 in one so it'll be 20 different graphics on a sweater or pullover it's by autumn olive crochet and i don't know if y'all get it but in my time <laughs> keep in mind i just turned 20 but in my time there was gravity falls right and there's mabel from gravity falls and she would always have these cool different graphic sweaters on it's 650 and i think i would even make some of these honestly especially like that yeah that one's cute all of these are cute i don't know i think y'all should do it and since christmas is approaching happy thanksgiving by the way because i know this will be up a couple of days before thanksgiving but just so you have this ready for christmas autumn olive crochet also has this holiday cardigan so you can pay 650 to get all 10 of these graphics and here are some more pictures of it next we have this crochet jacket with pockets and zippers no sewing machine needed i probably needed this for whenever i was making my little puffer jacket y'all can also see that crochet with me it was uploaded the same day as this so yeah y'all could see me struggle but hers looks nice and neat so you should probably watch her um tutorial and follow her pattern to be honest <laughs> because this jacket just looks so beautiful, so clean. And I think it's definitely worth the $10.99 that you pay for the pattern. But there is also a YouTube video, which I will also have linked in my description below as well. And I forgot to mention that this is by Ladria Love. Sorry if I botched the name. Next, we have the Fiskin Coat by Wavelengths by Emily, which, come on, this is so cute. Like, this is something I would buy from a store. I honestly do have a plaid jacket that's not crochet that looks just like this. So that's why I feel like I fell in love with this pattern. Pattern is 974, and yeah. I also included another pattern by Wavelengths by Emily, and this is another pullover. Well, this is a pullover, not another one. And it has this nice collar, the zipper as well. And I just love crochet and zipper. It's something about that combination that just gets me, you know? <laughs> Sorry, my internet's low <laughs> if you saw that. But yeah, y'all get the point. <laughs> now we have the Cumulus Cardigan by Shop. Trural made T R W L. I don't know how to I would pronounce that out loud, but it's 911. And this I just like the um the sleeves, like the puffiness. I love oversized fit things. So yeah, it's like a crop sweater, looks like big puffy sleeves, which I assume that's why it's called cumulus, because like clouds. Now we have the love spiral crochet sweater pattern by of mars i really love the swirls i assume it's made out of the um swirl granny squares that you can find a youtube tutorial on so yeah i just love the um the colorway that she did specifically because like the multicolor just does something different and like it's very fall it's more fall than winter but keep in mind it is still fall and it will be for like probably another maybe over Maybe another month. I don't know when the seasons are. But you can always still make this because 
it's not Christmassy yet. Like if you're fast enough, you can make this for Thanksgiving <laughs> if you think about it. But it is 9.50 and here are just some more pictures of this sweater. This one is very basic, but I love this velvet yarn. If you saw in my intro, I am wearing a um, my crochet hoodie that I use velvet yarn for, and it is super soft, so I, rec I would recommend making anything out of this velvet yarn. But you see it does have some detailing right there, so it's not completely plain, but you won't regret making anything out of velvet yarn, if I'm being honest, and this is one thing you can make. It's by Lakeside Loops. And the last top is also a basic top if you don't like all the patterns and everything. So this is a loose pullover sweater by Make and Do Crew. And I like, oops, let me just show y'all the video. Cause this is what got me. It's just so flowy. It looks so comfortable. And I like the seams like going down the front and going down the sides of the sleeves. So yeah, this is definitely a nice basic to make for yourself for the winter or fall seasons. And here we have another Anne's Closet pattern. I think I include one of her patterns in every video <laughs> at this point, but this is the Easy Crochet Purse Puff Tote Bag, which I think is so cute, especially since I just made my puffer jacket and this really reminds me of that. And I also wanted to make a puffer bag, but come on, she already has a pattern for it. So Anne's Closet, 419, it's 30% off right now. So hurry up and get it while you can save a couple coins. I also included another purse by Anne's Closet. This is the Powerpuff Purse 419 as well. And it just gives me winter vibes. I don't know. I think it's because of the little bobbles or the little puffs. Yeah, it just screams cozy to me. I don't know. Next, we have this little hoodlet. So you can just add a hood onto anything. It's $5.99 by T Zines. And yeah, I just really love the yarn that was used for this pattern. It looks so cozy, so warm, and everyone did a great job in these pictures. Like, come on, that's so cute. Next, I have this crochet ear flap star hat. So I really love this because of the star stitching, first of all, well, star pattern, Abigail, I don't, I don't know what you call it. Graphic, yeah, the star graphic. And I really love the puff balls at the end of this too. I never thought of making one for myself. I always make these for babies, but this is like adorable. I have to make myself something like this. It's by Julia's Crochet Fashion, by the way. It's $5.99 right now. And I also have another hat that I'm going to show that she has as well. So let me go ahead and click on that one. This one is the crochet ear flap cat hat, which I think is adorable. And look, instead of the puffs, it has little stars. And that's so cute. Maybe you can like mix that star with the star hat on the top if you want. But either way, I think it's so cute. I love the little crochet um, cat ear hats that I've been seeing. So I definitely want to make one like that. And it's just so adorable. Since it is winter, or well, approaching winter time, I really like blankets. I am very cold all the time and this just looks like a dream. It looks so soft and I just like how it has like the horizontal and the vertical stitches. I think it really complements each other well in this throw blanket. So yeah, and it's made out of the velvet. <laughs> so. I would really recommend that because the velvet is so good. It's by Daisy Farm Crafts and yeah. Next we have another hat. This one has bunny ears. I just thought it was really cute. It looks like it's pretty simple too because I think this is like a basic beanie and you just add the um, bunny ears on top. But it's by Holly's Yarn Creations. It is $6 and I also didn't mention that it's two-toned. I mean, I'm sure you could tell, but yeah, I just think this is a really cool hat. It's pretty unique. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is self-explanatory, but I mean, you can make yourself a crochet Santa hat, have it ready for Christmas. Like we're not gonna need the, the store-bought ones and we can make our own. Like I definitely wanna make one. I'm gonna make one, honestly, because I usually just wear a Santa hat but I can make one and it's so cute and I made it. So this is by Pacific Pepper, $3.99 is 20% off right now. It is low in stock. So yeah, it's a digital PDF, but as an Etsy seller, you have to like restock it. So yeah, it'll be there still. You just might have to remind the seller to restock it if they don't know. 
Next, we have some crochet booty slippers. There's also a YouTube video for this, which will be linked down below, or you can pay $3.99 to get this pattern. Um, this reminds me of like one of the first things I crocheted. I made some booties so long ago, but these look super soft and I feel like mine would look pretty clean now. Before they looked okay, but I think I can make it 10 times better now. It's by Holly Hook and yeah. So this is a YouTube video as you can tell, but this is a hand crochet blanket. So I'm just gonna skip to the end so you can see like what it is really. It's by Bella Coco by the way. And hand crochet bring ooh, sorry. Hand crochet blankets are so soft, so plush, so warm. So I highly recommend it for the winter time. And lastly, we have this crochet boot cuff pattern by Knit Crow Addict. I just think this is a nice touch to add onto any shoe or boot. And it looks like it's pretty simple, honestly. Hey guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you found some inspiration by the end of this. And comment down below what your favorite piece was and what you plan on making while it's still cold outside so i hope you guys have an amazing christmas thanksgiving whatever holiday that you celebrate and i can't wait to see you guys again peace